Sometimes I wander around with a coffee in my hand And I talk to the birds and the bees and the trees and the fleas And I tell them please to stay very safe and have a nice day I love you because you live I love you, it's all I can and the journey begins in my backyard. I live in San Luis Obispo on the central coast of California. I grow many plants and crops, including kale, broccoli, cauliflower, pumpkin, basil, parsley, tomatoes, arugula, and hops. These are cabbage aphids on my purple broccoli. Aphids are in the order Hemiptera, suborder Sternorhynchia. They are using their piercing sucking mouth parts to feed on the phloem of the broccoli plant. Luckily for me, the next insect I find is a lady beetle. Lady beetles are in the order Coleoptera and the suborder Polyphaga. The elytra are the brightly colored hardened forewings. This lady beetle is on my kale plant and is very beneficial to my garden as it predates on those aphids. Here is another coleopteran from the suborder Polyphaga. But this one is a western spotted cucumber beetle. This one is on my mint plant, but there's no evidence of feeding on the foliage. These European honeybees are in the order Hymenoptera, suborder Apocrita. These female worker bees are collecting pollen as food for their hive. Here is another Hymenopteran in the suborder Apocrita. But these guys are Argentinian ants. They scavenge around the leaf litter in my garden, looking for a carbohydrate source for their colony. The small white butterfly is a small white butterfly. It is from the order Lepidoptera, suborder Dytrizia. This is the adult stage of an imported cabbage worm. This is the imported cabbage worm, which is a little looper caterpillar on my cauliflower leaf. And here's some evidence of the cabbage looper feeding on my cauliflower and broccoli leaves. The looping action for which the larvae is named happens because some of the middle abdominal segments are missing legs. Here's another species of Lepidopteran that I found on a walk near my house. The red and yellow coloring wards off predators. I also found this monarch butterfly larva. I found this thrip on my tomato plant. He is in the order Thysinoptera, suborder Tubulifera. He is causing superficial damage to the foliage of my tomato plant. And here is another insect. This one is a female earwig from the order Dermaptera. And here we have some earwig nymphs that are in the soil. And here's a closer look at a male earwig's circe. I accidentally cut these off with my shovel. This is actually a shot of two flies from the order Diptera, the suborder Brachycera, and it looks like they're making more flies. This is a cicada from the order Hemiptera, suborder Achenorhynchia. Males of many Achenorhynchian species have special structures in their abdomen called timbles that they use to produce mating sounds. The damage on this hedge was done by another Hemipteran. The damage on the leaves is caused by feeding Eugenia psyllid nymphs. Here is an arachnid spider from the order Araniae. Spiders can be voracious predators. They're really beneficial when they feed on annoying insects like mosquitoes. Here is another arachnid, but this one is a red mite from the order Akari on a branch of my kale plant. All of these insects come together to create some beautiful backyard biodiversity. Thanks for watching.